In the Bible, the number seven holds a deep symbolic meaning, often representing completeness or divine perfection. This concept, part of biblical numerology, involves the interpretation of numbers within the scriptures for their symbolic meanings. Notably, the numbers 3, 7, 12, and 40 stand out due to their frequent appearances in key biblical narratives. Before we proceed, how about a challenge? Answer the following quiz, which prophet described the seven qualities of the Messiah? A. Moses B. Isaiah C. Jeremiah D. Daniel At the end of this video, we will reveal the answer. The number seven is closely associated with the idea of totality or perfection in God's creation. This is exemplified in the creation story in Genesis, where God completes the universe in six days and rests on the seventh, highlighting the number's connection to completeness. This pattern of six days of work followed by a day of rest became the basis for the seven-day week, which is observed in many cultures around the world. In the King James Bible, the word seven appears 463 times, with significant occurrences in both Genesis and Revelation, including variations like seventh and seven times, the total rises to 591. The importance of the number is evident in various biblical contexts, such as in Exodus 22, verse 30 about animal sacrifices, and in the story of Noah's Ark in Genesis 7, verse 2. Seven is also prominent in the design of the menorah, the tabernacle's candelabrum, and in the description of the seven qualities of the Messiah in Isaiah 11, verse 2. The Gospel of John includes seven signs, and Proverbs lists seven things detestable to God. In Matthew, the emphasis on seven parables and warnings further reinforces the number's significance. Moreover, the number seven appears in many other parts of the Bible, reinforcing its symbolism. For example, Joseph interprets Pharaoh's dreams in Egypt as seven years of plenty followed by seven years of famine. In Revelation, there are references to seven churches, seven seals, seven trumpets, and seven bowls, each carrying deep messages and symbolism. Biblical numerology, especially in relation to the number seven, offers a rich mosaic of meanings and interpretations. Studying these numerical patterns can provide a deeper understanding of the messages and underlying themes in the scriptures. Biblical prophecies, like Daniel's 70 weeks and Jeremiah's prediction of a 70-year Babylonian captivity, also employ the number seven. The Jubilee year, marked every 49 years, seven by seven, further emphasizes its importance. In the New Testament, the number seven symbolizes completeness, as seen in the seven statements of Jesus on the cross, marking the end of his earthly mission. The Lord's Prayer, taught by Jesus, comprises seven petitions, reflecting a complete spiritual communication with God. Jesus used seven metaphors to describe himself, each representing a different aspect of the path to salvation. These include the bread of life, the light of the world, and the true vine, among others. King David and Isaiah also used the number seven to describe the perfect nature of God. In the Bible, the number seven is often linked to the fulfillment of oaths and promises, healing, and exoneration. For example, the Israelites were instructed in Deuteronomy to cancel debts and free slaves every seventh year. The story of Jericho in chapters 5 and 6 of Joshua is a notable example of the importance of the number 7, where the Israelites' obedience to God's command involving seven days and seven priests leads to the miraculous fall of the city's walls. In the book of Revelation, the number 7 appears in various contexts, such as the seven churches, seven spirits, 
and seven seals, highlighting its symbolic importance in conveying completeness and divine fulfillment. In the New Testament, the number seven holds significant symbolic value, epitomizing completeness. This is vividly illustrated in the seven last statements of Jesus on the cross, signifying the culmination of his mission on earth. Additionally, the Lord's Prayer, as taught by Jesus, is structured in seven petitions, each contributing to a holistic spiritual dialogue with God. Jesus employed seven distinct metaphors to articulate various facets of the salvation journey. These metaphors include portraying himself as the bread of life, offering sustenance, the light of the world, providing guidance and clarity, and the true vine, symbolizing connection and growth, among others. Each metaphor uniquely contributes to the understanding of Jesus' role and mission. The use of the number seven extends beyond the New Testament. King David and the prophet Isaiah, in the Old Testament, also invoked the number seven to express the perfection of God's nature. This biblical use of seven often correlates with themes of fulfilling oaths, healing, and exoneration. A notable example of this is found in Deuteronomy, where the Israelites are commanded to release debts and free slaves every seventh year, symbolizing a cycle of renewal and liberation. Thus, in both testaments, the number seven emerges as a powerful symbol, deeply embedded in the fabric of biblical narratives and teachings, reflecting completeness, fulfillment, and divine perfection. The biblical narrative of Jericho, detailed in chapters 5 and 6 of Joshua, serves as a profound illustration of the symbolic importance of the number seven. In this story, the Israelites, following God's explicit instructions, surround the fortified city of Jericho for seven days, with seven priests carrying trumpets made of ram's horns. On the seventh day, after marching around the city seven times, the priests blow their trumpets and the Israelites shout, leading to the miraculous collapse of Jericho's walls. This event not only signifies a critical moment in the Israelites' conquest of the Promised Land, but also underlines the representation of the number seven in divine intervention, completeness, and fulfillment of God's promises. In the book of Revelation, the number seven repeatedly emerges, further reinforcing its symbolic significance in biblical texts. The apocalyptic vision presented in Revelation includes references to seven churches, seven spirits, and seven seals. Each of these instances of the number seven carries deep symbolic meaning. The seven churches represent the complete and universal body of Christ, encompassing a wide range of spiritual conditions found in the Christian community. The seven spirits before the throne of God symbolize the fullness and perfection of the Holy Spirit. The seven seals, which are open to reveal various judgments and events, signify the totality of God's plan for redemption and judgment. The recurrence of the number seven in these contexts highlights its role in conveying a sense of wholeness, spiritual completeness, and the unfolding of divine will in the cosmic scheme. The number seven, therefore, is not just a quantitative marker, but a symbol laden with spiritual and theological meaning. It often denotes the idea of perfection, completeness, and the fulfillment of divine purposes. However, while the number seven undeniably holds significant spiritual meaning within the Bible, it is crucial to approach its interpretation with discernment. Not every mention of the number seven in the scriptures is laden with symbolic weight. Biblical authors use numbers to serve various purposes, including literal, symbolic, and literary. Therefore, understanding the context in which the number appears is essential to discerning its intended meaning. Now, returning to our quiz, the correct answer is B, Isaiah. 
Isaiah 11, verse 2 describes the seven qualities of the Messiah, highlighting the importance of the number seven in prophecy and messianic hope. In essence, the number seven in the Bible transcends its literal numerical value, embodying rich symbolic meanings that resonate throughout scripture. It often signifies the idea of completeness, perfection, and the fulfillment of God's plans and purposes. This symbolic usage invites readers to delve deeper into the biblical text, uncovering layers of meaning that reveal the intricate ways in which numbers like seven contribute to the overarching narrative of God's interaction with humanity and the world. Interested in exploring more about symbols and meanings in the Bible? Join us in our Bible studies and deepen your knowledge and understanding of the scriptures. Subscribe now to begin an enriching journey through biblical knowledge.